Good morning. We are back. We are back. We had a court date this morning with Justin Johnson and Cornelia Smith, their bond hearing uh, in, Judge, in Judge Coffey's uh, courtroom. Um, it was postponed, I think, July 1st. Um, and I know people get aggravated with the postponements, but it's going to be a lot of postponements, okay? We're talking about a big murder case. Um, but I uh, pulled a few cards on uh, Cornelius and his attorney and on Justin Johnson and his attorney because um, I was quite interested on what was going on with them. Uh, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and read uh, Cornelius Smith. So um, Cornelius Smith gets... Uh, it's the, uh, the feeling safe card. Okay, you see that? Uh, you see him inside the bubble? He's safe inside his bubble? That's where his attorney has put him. His attorney has uh, put Cornelia Smith inside a bubble to feel safe. To say, hey, we're going to get you out of this, you know. Um, don't worry about things. We got this. You're, you're, gonna, you're coming home. Okay? He has put that boy in that bubble. He has made that boy um, in denial. He is sitting here telling Cornelius, we're gonna get you out of this, da da da, da da da. You know, um, to be honest, I don't believe Cornelius will get out of it. Um, and about his bond, he is not charged with capital murder. He has every right to a bond, to a bond hearing. Um, Judge Coffey, what I know of Judge Coffey is he is a really fair person. He don't play fucking games. You know, um, he don't do things for the media. He, 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 he don't. He's straight forward judge and he's very fair. Um, he's very kind, but he goes by the law. Okay. <laughs> so let me tell you what's going to happen. With his bond, with what I pick up on Cornelius Smith and his bond. If Judge Coffey allows him a bond, Judge Coffey is going to set that bond so high that his family better have more than one house to put up for that bond. Okay, that's how high that bond is going to be. They're not going to be able to just... You're going to have to put some something up plus some cash. That's how high that bond is going to be. Okay, now coming to uh, Justin Johnson, uh, to even discuss a bond with him is just no need. He's going to serve his two years on his uh, violation of his pro pro probation. Um, so even if he did get a bond, he is not released. He's not going nowhere, okay? Um, so there's no even, I don't even think there's a hearing for him to even have a bond. Okay, he's he's gonna sit two years, regardless. So I went ahead and I and and I pulled cards on Justin and his attorney, and because uh, I wanted to know where you know where where they're where they're sitting at with each other, um, what's going on between them. Um, so he gets the uh, the. Uh, The intuition card, but he gets it in the reverse position. This this attorney is so confused on Justin's case that he really don't know what, um, how to even go about it, okay? Um, he also got the integrity, the honesty, same thing, uh, in the reverse position. This man uh, is not being honest with Justin. Um, he, I tell you the truth, he, he's, I get, I, I get confused, confusion with this man. He, he's very confused about this case. Um, I really don't think that, uh, he should try a big case like this, but I'm glad that Justin has him. Um, Justin was there. Justin did pull the trigger. Um, Cornelia Smith was there. Regardless what your YouTubers are telling you. Or trying to put uh, Big Bang Wayne or other people in that picture. I have done a lot of meditation on this. And 
Renee Smith was there, okay? Believe what you want, that's fine. That's, you know, we have our own free minds. Renee Smith was there. Um, they have more than just his fingerprints on that car, okay? Uh, also, he gets the, uh, the Tall White's card, which is a card of uncertainty. Uncertainty. Okay? He's uncertain. I'm telling you. Justin and his attorney both are so uncertain and so, uh, don't know which direction to go. Okay? Um, and that attorney is his destiny. That attorney is Justin Johnson's destiny. So, and, um, I want to mention, uh, gosh, now I lost his name. Um, what's that boy's name that got, uh, that got pulled over with Justin and he got released from the, uh, Indiana jail on accident. Okay. Um, Shelby County, they called Shelby County and, um, they, uh, told them, you know, it's, it's, his time is up. We can't hold him unless you're going to come pick him up. And obviously Shelby County told them, no, we're not interested in him anymore. Go ahead and release him. So Indiana released him. And now, uh, Shelby County was saying, no, you know, we don't know how that happened. We don't know how he got released because Shelby County told somebody in Shelby County told them they were no longer interested. That's how. Um, so anyway, uh, you go to the, you know, so they put a warrant out for his arrest, okay? There's a warrant out there for his arrest. And when that warrant came out, his picture was there. His picture was there. Okay, his mugshot was there with that warrant. Go and look at his warrant right now. Go to the website, look, look him up. His warrant is gone. Barnett is his last name. Barnett, yeah. His warrant's not gone. I'm sorry. His picture is gone. It says no available picture. Why? There was one there. Y'all have his mugshot. What? Well, why? Why was his picture taken down from that warrant? I don't understand that. And to me, that's some shady shit going on. So there's either somebody in the Shelby County that is helping this guy. Or he is helping the investigators. And this is how they're playing their role out. So, um, I just wanted to come on here and discuss that with y'all. Peace, love, and light, guys.